Uh, I will speak to my patients about insulin uh, by telling them about their current glycemic state and will tell them why it is important for them to go on insulin. There are loads of myths around that because the people will not like to take insulin for several reasons. It can be needle phobia, it can be the risk of hypoglycemia, or it can be an issue around weight gain. So as long as we understand the reason why they don't want to go on insulin, then we can address and reassure why they should be on insulin and uh, we can cover up all the other things which they are worried about. So I think this is uh, the opening discussion around uh, initiation of insulin therapy. I will reassure them again by addressing the concerns they have around insulin and I think the two main concerns are the risk of hypoglycemia and the weight gain. And if we can address that, how they can prevent hypoglycemia and what are the coping strategies around that. And if we can tell them that yes, there might be a little bit of weight gain, but it will come for a greater gains or better glycemic control, which will prevent them from having long-term microvascular complications, then it is a trade-off against the benefits of insulin. Yes, I think this is uh, very important for anybody who is going on insulin to get proper training around the injection techniques because that can make a huge difference. Uh, the people also have the myth of needle phobia because they think these are bigger needles and that is going to hurt a lot. And when they see the really small thin needles and when you show them how easy it is, especially with the modern devices like flex pens, uh, to inject insulin, that take off a lot of anxiety from them. And uh, if you check their injection sites, you will be able to know of issues around variability of glycemia and also if they are having any uh, issues around the injection sites.